What's up guys? It's Mike the Smoking Monkey and I'm back at you with another vlog. I've been out here testing this thing out for you guys. I've been out here on a couple rides. I'm actually just coming back from a ride. That's not the reason I'm making my video today. I just got out of the post office and I'm putting this away and I thought why not make a vlog? So I had to unpackage it out of the, the Amazon packaging because I don't have room for that in here as you guys can tell. But this is actually something that got sent to me by a company and no this is not a sponsored video the item was given to me at no cost to review it and as you can tell from the title and from what I'm holding it's a replacement LED bulb for the SV650 now it's supposed to be a direct replacement I just take that one out and I put this guy in and bingo bango we should be good as long as my wiring doesn't fry when I flip the switch, we should be good. <laughs> so, I just picked this up, and if I stop crumpling this, I can tell you what it is. It's called Oxido H4 Motorcycle LED Headlight Bulb, high low beam. Now, this is actually shipping from Amazon in the States. So, everybody in the States, I'm going to have the link for you guys in the description. You guys can follow that to the page, uh, as well as... If you can't find it that way, I'm going to post a picture of the page right now. And you guys can kind of look it up. You guys can see the description. You guys can see the picture there. Uh, you guys can see the seller. So hopefully you guys can find it this way. And yeah, I'm going to go. Let's throw this thing in and see how it performs. Now, I've been wanting to get myself a replacement for the headlight for a while. And I've been wanting to get an LED replacement but it is honestly growing on me a lot of you guys have been mentioning that it's the heritage look it's the retro styling and yeah i agree with you guys i like it i, I actually uh don't think i'm gonna change it anytime soon and the most that i'm gonna do is put in this bulb for now and see if that helps me with the brightness not that i have an issue with the brightness it's just who doesn't want to have a brighter headlight and this is a nice cheap alternative also because it only costs $19.99 US. So compared to buying a new light, it's a lot of cost savings as well as it's a really easy to install. So if you're not looking to actually change the look of the light and you just want something a little bit more powerful, then this might be a good option. So let's run back to my place. Let's install the light and we'll see if it's actually any good. All right, guys. So. Now that we're back, let's take this old headlight or this old light bulb out and we'll stick the new one in. And if you haven't done this on the SV650 before, it's quite simple. You've got one screw there and one on this side. And it all comes out. And here is the bulb. It has mm, how many LEDs there? Nine. So you've got six and then three. And it's a standard plug, just like the one that's in there now. It's ready to go back in. Actually, it looks kind of cool in there too with the hexagon. I apologize if the lighting isn't too great. It is getting kind of dark outside, but perfect time to test out the new light. And two screws, and she's done. Now the moment of truth. Is it going to blow up or is it going to turn on? Oh, look at that. It's actually pretty bright. Let's compare it to the old one. So 
So, everything works. High beam, low beam. I know you guys can't really see it here, but I did show you in the comparison just a second ago, the high beam and the low beam work. So all that's left to do is get on the bike, wait for it to get dark, and go test it out. I will be doing a run for you guys with the old light bulb and the new light bulb doing the exact same drive, so that I'll put them side by side on the screen for you, and you guys can tell which one is better, and you guys can give me your opinion. So let's wait for it to get dark. And let's head out. So here we are guys. Pulled over real quick before I go on the ride. Just to see how bright it is. And right off the bat I can tell you. It is more white. Obviously because it's an LED. Here's the high beams. And it is more white and more bright I would say. But... I don't know if I'm gonna say it's making a big difference. But I'll have, uh, I put the videos up side by side here just so you guys can see and compare for yourselves exactly what it looks like. I'm gonna be trying to go the same speed, but I'll edit it out so that it kind of works out so that the videos line up properly for you guys. And hopefully, you can tell just because of uh, where I'm riding I chose to ride out on the side streets here because it's a little less lit there's not many cars there's less traffic so the road will be darker but as well there's less variables so I'll be able to get the same kind of path for you guys with the same kind of uh, speed and distance or yeah so that it all lines up nice and you guys can actually get a side-by-side -side view but so far, the actual light, uh, I feel like it covers about the same amount of area, maybe even less area, I don't know if that's possible, but it feels like the, the, the halogen bulb covered a little bit more area, it might just be because I'm not used to the white light, but it definitely is a lot brighter, you can tell just by looking at the, uh, the lines on the road here, they reflect a lot more. the high beam yeah high beam it gives you that little extra section up there if you guys can see it gives you an extra like uh, I'd say a yard or two so like a meter or two now I wouldn't say it makes a big difference like a night and day difference uh, it's not terrible I think that if I had to choose between the two I wouldn't mind either one actually I would leave this one in for now but I don't think that the other one is any worse if that makes any sense like they they have a different hue to them but you're not gonna see any more or any less using the original light bulb versus this light bulb I would say that the main advantage or the main benefit of switching would be the actual color so you would get a little bit more of a white light just like you see now uh, on the right side here of the screen compared to the left side which is the old original stock light bulb and to each his own I honestly don't mind it either way this is kind of nice but it's not like it's gonna make a huge difference for me either way Now, as far as heat, I believe this one will produce a lot less heat. Uh, if that makes a difference for you at all, I don't know if it should. For me, I don't really care. I'm not out there grabbing my headlight. Uh, usually, if I go out into the countryside, I get bugs splattered onto it either way. And the heat does cook them on a bit, so they do get kind of stuck on. But it is a glass headlight, so I don't really have to worry about it. It's not plastic. I can actually go and clean it nice and get everything off of there without having any uh, leftover bugs or juice or anything like that so not an issue with cleaning it even if things do get kind of cooked on but yeah that was it for the side-by-side -side guys and 
hopefully you guys got a good idea of which one you like better I know that I don't really care either way but if I had to choose I think I would stick with the stock light bulb I wouldn't go out and buy the other one just because it has the same pattern either way you're not gonna be gaining anything uh, other than the hue it is a bit brighter but that being said I would give this a four out of five stars for being a good light bulb it is a nice benefit that you don't have to change it you don't have to actually go and replace it as often and I think that that's a good benefit so for that reason I'm gonna leave it in and it does give you a good light it's not like I'm losing actually anything I'm probably gaining a little bit of brightness so it's a it's a good choice if you want something just to liven it up a little bit and make your headlight a little bit stronger then I would recommend getting this and the link is down in the description of the video it is on the US Amazon site and once again I was given this product for free just to try it out on my channel and that was my review for you guys so hopefully my video was useful for you hopefully it was helpful and thank you for watching guys please leave me a like and a comment I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have and don't forget to subscribe so that I can catch you guys on the next video and until next time guys ride safe out there and peace